The islands of this cluster are covered in ancient ruins whose mysterious builders vanished long ago. Nobody knows who they were or what they were doing, but they left a legacy inlaid in the living rock of their temples. Gold. The Monquista came to Skull Island before any of the other nations of the spiral. The gold we pry from these ruins makes us wealthy and powerful. Bold Monquistadors led the conquest of Skull Island, but one name outshines all the rest. Gortez. We owe him our wealth, our influence, our very empire. Almost a year ago, Gortez embarked on his latest adventure. I am asking you to follow him into the very heart of the Isle of Doom. Do not be afraid. The island is named after its discoverer, uh, Baron Ferdinand von Doom, who was unfortunately devoured by a giant snake. I hear the island is a very pleasant place, as long as you avoid the swarms of carnivorous bees, flesh-eating plants, and uh, savage frog tribes with poisonous skin. I have no doubt you'll do very well there. Gortez was drawn to the Isle of Doom by rumors of vast treasures on that shadowed island. At first, Gortez was triumphant, as always. He and his troops cut a swath into the jungle, crushing all who opposed them. Gold poured out of the jungle, more gold than ever before. But in the months that followed, disquieting rumors reached us here. Gortez, they said, had lost his way and was doing questionable things. Four months ago, all contact was lost with Gortez and his army. Their fate was not known until a Monquistador came staggering out of the deep jungle, raving with fever. He said Cortez had built a kingdom for himself in the jungle and ruled it like a tyrant. He had also found something wondrous, the gold monkey, a treasure beyond reckoning. The monkey's paw is a sacred relic, the preserved hand of Saint Bonzo the Unfortunate, martyred no less than three times during the great reconciliation of the Holy Church. Blessed by the first banana tree, Bonzo worked many miracles before his third and final death. After his death, Bonzo's hand was fixed to the end of a golden scepter and retains miraculous powers to this day. Any Mokistan who holds it may make three wishes, which are granted by divine grace. But if their soul is not pure, their wishes will bring them despair instead of happiness. So it was with my master. Mon Quixote, a retainer of the Lord of La Mancha, undertook a great quest to find the paw. After many trials, he found the relic and brought it back to La Mancha. He was tasked to bring the paw to his lord, but could not resist temptation. He made two wishes, and despair followed. For his first wish, my master asked for one million bananas. He was hungry, you see. For his second wish, my lord sought power. He wished to become a Don, a lord. He wished to become Don Quixote. But this did not happen. Instead of Don Quixote, he became Don Quixote, transformed from a Monquistan into a donkey. The transformation drove him mad. But that was just the beginning of the troubles. One million bananas. This is an unimaginably rich hoard. Word spread quickly that La Mancha had a priceless heap of bananas, and every lord in Moquista came to claim a share of the treasure. The war that followed devastated La Mancha, leaving it empty and without a lord. Thus, you find it and my master.